welcome back. So today I have a holiday look for you and I just did my eyes really simple. I did several different red lip options. Now they range from drugstore to high end. So I'll give you a variety of different choices. Some glosses, some stains, a lipstick, some different finishes. So you'll have different choices, something that would fit you best. I know a red lip is such one of those classic holiday things that I think about wearing during the holidays. I want to give you several different options so that you could find something that was right for you. I'm doing this with a great friend of mine here on YouTube and her name is Danny. I absolutely love her videos. You guys have to check her out. You probably already know about her. And if you're coming from Danny's channel, hi, welcome. I discovered her channel and I seriously went on like a binge of watching all of her videos at once in one night and I'm like commenting like crazy. She probably woke up in the morning and was like, stalker alert. <laughs> because I just, there's something about her. She just grabs you in. She has a super cute intro um, that she does every time. And she, ha her channel, you know, Coffee Break with Danny, you really do feel like you're sitting down. And that's typically what I'm doing when I'm watching YouTube. I do it while I'm drinking my coffee and just relaxing. And so it really feels like I'm having a coffee break with her. So I love Danny. She does great reviews, awesome tutorials. And I'm really excited to collab with her today um, to come up with a holiday look. We figured there were going to be a lot of holiday parties coming up and the red lip is that thing that you think about to wear to a, a holiday party. So we wanted to show you how we, what eye look we pair with the red lip. When you're done watching this video, head over to Danny's channel and subscribe if you're not subscribed and tell her I said hello. And if you're coming from Danny's channel, like I said, welcome and I hope you guys subscribe and stay a while. So I am just going to go ahead and get into the look. Since we're going to be doing a red lip, I'm starting off with this e.l.f. lip exfoliator just to get all the dead skin off. You don't want any of that on when you're wearing a red lip. So I just put this all over my lips and then I just take a wipe or a tissue to wipe that off. And then I'm going to moisturize with this Nivea lip butter. I love this one. It's in Raspberry Rose Kiss. So I start that off at the very beginning. I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and apply that all over the lid and then on the upper brow bone. And I use my finger to blend this out and I kind of pull it downward and really just blend this out. This is the one of the most tacky bases and the most opaque. So go ahead and blend that out. Now we're going to go into our Urban Decay Naked palette and using the color Naked, I'm just going to run this through my crease with the Sigma Firm Blend brush from the their Perfect Blend kit. I love this color and it's the perfect transition color. I'm also on that same brush going to take Buck and it's just a little bit darker and a little bit more reddish tone to it and we're going to run that through the crease. I love this brush because it's not that fluffy and it does concentrate the color but still blending it. Now I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Eternal Sunshine or if you want to use the Half Baked in the Naked palette you can do that. This is Half Baked and that is Eternal Sunshine. Eternal Sunshine just has a little bit more of a white gold quality so I'm using that. I like to apply these shadows with my finger because I feel like you get the most opaque coverage with it and I just like the way that they blend with my finger. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and run that under the lower lash line and in the inner corner. Taking the E45 brush, I'm going to take the color Creep, which is a black with a little bit of shimmer in it. If you want to use a matte black, you can. I'm just going to kind of run that on my outer corner. Is this creepy, me staring at you? <laughs> it looks a little creepy to me. So just run that on the outer corner and drag it a little bit in through the crease. Then I'm going to take this color brulee. It's from Wet n Wild and I'm applying this to my upper brow bone and just a little bit um, to clean up the edges. Taking any black liner, I'm using this one from Jane Cosmetics. It's really nice and waterproof. We'll go ahead and line your upper and lower lash line. I'm taking an eyelash curler and curling my eyelashes and then taking a short shader brush in the color Buck and kind of smudging out that black liner. It has already set, but I'm just doing it to smoke it out a little bit. Now I'm taking the Physician's Formula Liquid Eyeliner. I really like this eyeliner pen. It gives a really great black straight line, and that is the key to a winged liner. So I'm creating my wing, and I'm going a little bit 
higher like longer than I typically do and then I kind of just draw the outline of it and then go back in and connect it all and then I go the last step I do is go back in and kind of fill in right here and meet fill in that triangle and meet it back now I'm taking this mascara the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel mascara this is the best mascara of life and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Natural Beauty. It is a red blush, but don't be scared because I love using this when I have red lips on. I feel like it's the most natural. So here's the first lip combo. I'm taking Max Lip Liner in Beat and Flirt Cosmetics High Wattage Lipstick in Ace. It's like a very beautiful raspberry red. Our next combo is Jordana Twist and Shine Balm Stain in Rockin' Rouge. This can be applied very lightly or you can build it up to full pigmentation. I love this red. This is a beautiful gloss from Armor Beauty. It's in the color Barracuda. This thing is extremely pigmented and opaque. I love it. And the next lip combo is Max Ri Ri Woo with NYX Liner in Hot Red. This is the perfect quintessential matte red lip. I love this color, and for all you matte lip lovers, you will love it too. If you want to darken up that lip, matte lip, add a little bit of MAC's Night Moth Lip Liner to it, and that gives almost like an ombre effect. The last one is Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in True Red and CoverGirl Lipstick in Hot. I love this lipstick. It's a little bit more of an orangey tone, and it is extremely pigmented. All right, everyone, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed all of those different lip options. Don't forget to head over to Danny's channel, Coffee Break with Danny. I will have her name here and the link below. You guys are going to love her, and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah.